Hi and welcome to 50 feet below. Uh, being in the water with a great white shark is a dream for many divers, um, but these tours are quite expensive and is it worth your money? We got to experience it firsthand, so let's dive in. There are actually a few locations where you can do cage diving with great whites. Uh, the most well known are Southern Australia, New Zealand, Guadalupe, Mexico, which is probably the most famous one, and South Africa, Cape Town. And we're gonna focus on Cape Town because that's the place where we went. And this is actually a place where the sharks do something unique and you can only see it there. So we went to Cape Town and you got two options there. First one is Hansbai. Um, and the other one is False Bay and you should always go for False Bay because this is where the sharks are bigger and the groups are smaller and also they do the leaping in the air so it's really something you don't want to miss. So when you take a tour in False Bay your day starts at 6 in the morning um, you get a safety briefing and you head out to Seal Island and this is a 45 minute boat ride and this is an island in front of Cape Town where all the seals stay during the day. So every morning at dusk all the seals come back from the shore to stay on Seal Island and they have to cross a stretch of ocean and this is the chance for the sharks to get their meal in. Um, what they do is stay near the bottom, they look up and they see the seals swimming and they prepare themselves for an attack and they actually go from the bottom all the way up reaching 25 miles an hour to leap out of the water and catch a seal. So in the morning at dusk you're on the boat and this is happening around you. So actually what you do on the boat is follow the smaller groups of seals because it's, hard, it's easier for the shark to make out a single seal and single it out for an attack. Um, so when you do this you actually get the chance to see a natural predation in the wild. When the morning progresses um, it becomes lighter and lighter and the seals can actually see the sharks coming. Um, it also becomes more dangerous for the sharks because when they actually get a hold of a seal in lighter conditions it's easier for him for the seal to grab all themselves out of it and the shark can get um, wounded during the attack. So what they do is they just seize the attacks. It can be hard to see a natural predation. Um, they actually have a decoy on the boat and later in the morning they tow the decoy behind the boat because this is a single seal, it looks wounded and an easy prey for the shark and they actually do the predation on them as well. So the decoy is right behind the boat, just keep your eye on it and you're definitely, most definitely gonna see a natural predation right there. It's come and all the darkness is gone, it's actually time to put the cage in the water. Um, they jump the water with fish blood, sardines and some tuna pieces. Um, these are small pieces because it's prohibited to feed the sharks because this can influence their natural behavior. The cage is on the surface, so you'll stay on the surface and it's all whole bread diving. First thing you see when you get into the cage is a big chunk of tuna with a rope around it and this is actually used to lure the shark closer to the cage and the water in South Africa is quite green so you can really see that far out and this makes the shark go by the cage a little bit closer. They actually pull away the tuna because feeding is prohibited. So when a shark goes by, they actually tell you to put your head on the water and to look in which direction to see the shark and they absolutely make sure you're safe and the shark doesn't bump into the cage. Um, it's also important that you in the cage stay silent because the shark smells something dead, but when they um, hear something, they can't really make sense of it and they just go away. Um, the sharks actually get quite close to the cage without being unsafe. Um, the only thing is keep your hands in the cage, um, not like this guy, because everything in front of the dorsal fin is uh, reachable for the shark so they can actually turn around and grab your hand. So keep them inboard, don't touch the sharks because this will disturb them as well. So is it worth your money to go on a shark dive? Um, yes, absolutely. It's one of the best experiences ever um, to see the king of the ocean float by your cage like a few inches away. Um, also, especially in False Bay, the leaping out of the ocean is something you can only see there and it's something you will never forget. Um, we actually went to shark explorers and they took 
very good care of us. So we'll link the company down below. If you ever are in Cape Town, go with them. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, give us a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We post um, diving videos and snorkeling videos every week. And don't forget to check out our new website at 50feetbelow.com. See you on the next one.